Hi, Jack. Hi, Mick. Yeah, we sure showed that duel he's team, didn't we, huh? We sure did. Yeah. Too bad you sprained your ankle there. Yeah, tough break. Yeah. Well, take care of it, and I'll see you fellas later. Hi, Mick. Hi, Fred. Oh, don't tell me. You're the Statue of Liberty. I'm... <laughs> Sweet. Of course I'm not the Statue. But the reason I had to use this is because... Well, there was some tall fellas standing there, and I couldn't see over them. Come on, let's go into Mr. Brown's office. I want to talk to him about letting me take Tom's place on the basketball team. Tom's place? Pat, I, it's Mr. Brown in. I'd like to speak to him about taking over the center position on the basketball team. Coach Brown is on the phone to New York. Mickey, I'd like you to meet Bob Swanson. Bob, this is Mickey Mulligan and Freddie Devlin. Swanson Devin. Mulligan? Bob Swanson, the famous uh, basketball center from the other network. Uh, not anymore, I'm afraid. The other network, eh? Came over to do a little spying on our team, Swanson? Nothing like that, Mickey. <laughs> Mr. Brown just hired Robbie for our page staff. Well, Robbie, that's... Robbie, 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 Robbie how, how long have you known each other? Don't worry about that, Mickey. All my friends call me Robbie. As a matter of fact, Pat and I just met a few minutes ago. Well, I feel like I've known her all my life. <laughs> How about that, huh, Mick? <laughs> Mr. Uh, Swanson, do you think that you're going to like uh, working around here? I'm going to love it. Uh, Robbie joined our basketball team for the tournament finals. Oh, is, is that so? Well, I guess you and I are going to fight it out for center position on the team. Hmm, among other things. You know, Mickey, uh, Robbie averages more than 50 points a game. No kidding. Hey, how about telling us about it, Robbie? Oh, you don't mind if I call you Robbie, do you? No, not at all, Freddie, not at all. Uh, look, Swanson, if you don't mind, I'd like... Let him talk. Excuse me, let him talk. It's like I was telling Pat. There's really no trick to shooting baskets. It's, uh, well, it's like typing. Once you got the touch, it comes easy. It's all just a matter of... Just a matter of... Coordination. Wow. <laughs> Once you got it, it comes easy. Amazing, isn't it? Yes, I... I agree with you, uh, Mr. Swanson, that uh, you do have to... It's just a matter of coordination there. <laughs> Keep yourself right in there at all times. I agree with you 100%. It is just a matter of coordination. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Brown. Excuse me. It's my fault. I always block shots with my head. Robbie, have you met these fellows yet? Yes, thanks, Coach. I've met Mr. Swanson. It's a lucky day for you, Mr. Brown, when you got Mr. Swanson away from that other network. See... Ah, ah, ah. We never mentioned those letters around here, remember? Oh, yes, I remember. ADN, I meant to say. A different network. Excuse me, Mr. Brown. <laughs> well, how I managed to entice Robbie to our organization is my little secret. Yeah. And worth every cent. <laughs> Robbie's going to join our pay staff. I want you to take him around, show him the ropes. But don't overdo it. I want to keep him in condition for the big game. Well, Mr. Swanson, if you care to come with me now, we'll... Say, it's four o'clock. You better run along home, Robbie. But, but, but Mr. Brown, the pages, we, we have to work here until five, sir. I know, but he's had a hard day already. He's been here since 3.30. <laughs> well, just a minute, Mr. Brown. We're on the basketball team, too. Yes, sir, we're, we're on the team. How about us? I'm glad you reminded me. I want you boys to stick around here till seven and clean up the mess after the audience participation show. Robbie Boy, will you step into my office just a moment, please? Robbie Boy. Clean up the mess. The mess, why do we? It's a fine way to talk to a couple of basketball right. players. <laughs> Michael, you're making a mountain out of a molehill. You and Pat have been going together for too long. There's nothing big enough to come between you. Fellas, six feet three, that's. It's big enough. What if this basketball player is driving Pat over here? That doesn't mean it's the end of the world. No, it just means that it's the end of a chapter in my life. <laughs> One entitled Pat. 
I don't know, Mom. I guess maybe it, all things happen for the best. Yes, yeah, son. You're forgetting one thing. A mulligan takes a back seat to nobody. Well, the world's full of young fellows like that. Just because they wear a letterman sweater, they think no girl can resist them. Pop, if, if you don't mind, I, I don't care to hear any more about it at this time. It's funny, they say all is fair in love and war. Well, I just got bombed out. Nobody bombs out a mulligan. What do you mean? Now, when that young fella comes in here with your girl, yeah. your mother and I will know how to handle him, won't we, now? You bet we will. Huh? Well, what, what do you plan on doing, Pop? You just leave everything to us. Yeah, you just leave everything to us, dear. There he is now. Well, what do you plan on doing, Pop? You just leave your mother and I take care of it, Michael. Yeah, I trust you, Pop. You'll take care of it, huh? Come in! You'll handle it. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Mick. How are you, boy? Swanson. Pat, where did you get that sweater? It's awfully big on you. Oh, it's God. It was a little chilly with the top down, so he made me put it on. Made you put it on? Oh, hi. Come here, Bob. I want you to meet... Oh, you don't have to tell me who this is. You're Mickey's sister. Huh? You never mentioned having a sister. I certainly don't know why. You're no one to keep hidden. Now, just a minute. Joe, please. It's very nice of you to say so, but I'm not Michael's sister. Well, now, don't tell me you're his mother. <laughs> that I can't believe. It's the truth. <laughs> well, when are you going to start what you said that you were going to... Remember that? Now, see here, my boy. Sergeant Mulligan, this is indeed an honor, sir. And for your information, I'm not Michael's brother. <laughs> You've got a great sense of humor. You know, ever since Pat mentioned you two today, I could hardly wait to meet you. Oh, really? Yes, sir. I've got a lot of respect for members of the police force. Is that a fact? Yes, it is. In fact, well, doggone it, I feel so insignificant standing here. I mean, after all, I'm just a basketball player who's done nothing except be elected to the all-conference team three years in a row. But what's that compared to the, well, the great achievement of being a police sergeant? <sighs> When are you going to start to do what you said? Please, Michael, please don't interrupt Bob when he's talking. Right. Sit down, Bob. Thank you, sir. Right, Bob, sit down. Yeah. You know, my one big ambition in life is to one day qualify for the police force. Michael, listen to what this young man's saying. He makes sense. Yes, I, I, I don't want to miss a word of it. Then. Mickey, Bob has three tickets to the home show and he wants to take us. Isn't that wonderful? Very nice, but I don't care to go, Pat. Oh, come on, Mick. We're well, going to have a lot of fun. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I, I don't care for charity. Oh, Mickey, you know I've been dying to go to the home show. I don't Never care mind, to do it, Pat. If, if he doesn't want to go, look, Mrs. Mulligan, I've got a great idea. Why don't you join Pat and me? Oh, well, I'm not really dressed to go out. <laughs> what do you mean? You look like a million dollars. Everybody will be looking at you. All right, I'll get my coat. <laughs> Good, let's go. Good night, Sergeant. Come on, Pat. Good night, Mick. Well, Mickey, I don't want to go if you're not going. Oh, that's, that's quite all right, Pat. You go on. Have a good time. I'd be out of place anyway. I... I haven't got a Letterman sweater. Well, if you're going to be childish about it, I will go. Come on, Pat, let's go. I'm coming. <laughs> you didn't do what you said you were going to do to help me out a little bit there. You... I'm sorry, son. But you know what, Michael? What? I think we've been taken. He's got an awful good dribble, hasn't he? Yeah. What's the matter with you? What do you think just happened to me? What happened? I pulled up to the house with Audrey just as your mother, Pat, and that Swanson guy were leaving. Yeah? So naturally, I introduced him to Audrey. And the first thing I knew, we, we know. I got the shoes, Mick. Yeah. Yeah. Are they going to work, do you think? Well, sure they're going to work. They worked all right for the acrobats on that circus time show. Yeah. Oh, look. I promised the producer, Mr. Fletcher, I'd get these back right after lunch. Yeah, I hope our Mr. Swanson shows up pretty soon. We've only got 45 minutes left out of our lunch hour. You know, Mick, if this rope deal works for us, we're really going to cook that Swanson guy. Yeah. That'll teach him to walk off with our girls, huh, Fred? <laughs> oh, don't touch the rope. Don't touch it. What if he was to come in now? You'd spoil the whole gimmick. You don't make this one thing that bothers me. What's that? 
Well, if this Swanson deal is a success, yeah. our team is going to lose an awfully good center. Yeah, I sort of hate to let the team down myself, but we got to decide which is more important, losing a great center or losing our girls. Hiya, Mick. <laughs> Hi, Freddy. How you doing, boys? Oh, Watson, <laughs> you're, you're late. Well, I, I don't like this idea of using my lunch hour for practice. Mick, one thing I don't need is uh, practice. <laughs> You're going to need it if you want to beat him out of that center slot on the team. That's right. I can see him giving me some trouble. Oh, don't let his height fool you, boy. No, no. He springs like a, a kangaroo. That's right, Fred. Tell him, boy. You know, I spring like a kangaroo. Yeah. I haven't been out jump since I was 16 years old. Since he was 16, he hasn't been out jump. Yeah, well, uh, you, you just uh, you got to show him, that's all. Yeah, well, why disillusion? Huh? <laughs> Go ahead. I can take it, old boy. Well, all right. Do you give us a jump ball here, Fred, and we'll try okay. it out. Let's see what. All what right. Now you watch out for those beams up there. Now, Mick. The beams? Yeah, I'll watch out. Are you, you ready now? All go right. Ahead, let's ready, go. set, go. <laughs> uh, do you mind if we tried it again, please? No, not at all, Mickey. Yeah. Uh, I I goofed. You goofed. Yeah, we'll try it back. All right. You ready? <laughs> Boy, you got a, you got a lot of spring in your legs, Mick. Yeah. Yeah, you better get rid of them. Huh? Uh, I mean the, the the shoes, the new basketball shoes. They're hurting your feet. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you and Swanson just shoot a few baskets while I go and change my other basketball shoes, huh? <laughs> Whoa, what's the matter, Swanson? Your eyes hurt you? Uh, no, no. I I didn't get much sleep last night. That's why Mickey outjumped me. Oh. Oh, say, your eyes are a little bloodshot. I think maybe you need glasses. What? Me need gla Are you kidding? I got 20-20 vision. You give me that ball, I'll show you how much I need glasses. Okay, Swanson, let's see you shoot a couple. You watch this. <laughs> you missed. <laughs> Never miss many of those. Let's, let me try it again. <laughs> you missed again. I don't understand it. I, I gotta sworn the basket moved. The basket moved? Oh, that's, that's a pretty poor excuse, Bob. Could be that your eyes are bad. Well, are you kidding? I got perfect eyes. Just watch this. Well, that's three in a row. Boy, I, I guess I do have eye strain. That basket looks blurry, like... like it's moving. It's too bad. I, uh, <clears throat> I, I know what you're gonna say, Fred. I saw that, Swanson, and if you don't mind my saying so, it wasn't too good. Yeah, your eyes seem to have gone bad on you. Eyes, huh? Yeah. He says every time he looks at the basket, it seems to move. The basket seems to move? I, I, I can't understand it, Mick. I, oh, it's... I never had this trouble before. Probably nothing at all. Don't worry about it, Swanson. Here, let, let me take a couple of shots, if you don't mind. Freddy, I'm gonna take a couple of shots now. It's making me nervous standing, Fred. I know the ropes stand over by the wall, Freddy. I, I'd like to take a shot. Thanks. Well, are you ready for me to take my shot, Fred? I don't see why not. He <laughs> don't see why not. Oh. Well, that's what I mean. Huh? Does it look to you like it's moving? See it move? Oh, please. Now, Swanson, just let me make my shot. <laughs> <laughs> really something wrong with my eyes. Think so, huh? Say, Fred, did you hear what Swanson said? He said there's something wrong with his 20-20 vision. Uh, uh Bob. Yeah? Uh, do you mind if I make a suggestion? No, no, not at all. Well, we, we can't afford to lose you for the big games. No, 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 we can't. Uh, I think, uh, I think it'd be a good idea if you went to an eye doctor. Uh, eye doctor? You... You fellas know one I can go see? Let me see, an eye doctor, eye doctor. Uh, say, Freddie, isn't your uncle uh, an eye doctor? Come to think of it, he is. Yeah, yeah. One of the best. One of the best, that's right. Well, I tell you what, Swanson, why don't you rush right over there and I'll tell Mr. Brown that you're going to be late. Okay, Mick. Yeah, yeah, and Freddie, don't, uh, don't get there too quick. You don't want to get there before your Uncle Carl does. Yeah, okay, come on, Swanson. <laughs> Yeah, who is it, please? It's me, Uncle Carl, Freddy. Oh, oh come in, Frederick, uh, alone. 
please. Oh, uh, wait out here just a minute, will you, Bob? I want to be a moment. Yeah, well, hurry up. I'm worried. Uh, Frederick, come in, my boy. And when you... Mickey, what are you doing? You're supposed to be an optometrist, not a surgeon. Uncle Carl never looked like this. Well, it'll have to do. It's all I could get. Besides, it won me first prize at a Halloween costume party last year, and it'll have to do for Uncle Carl. I still say it's too much. Well, I think it's pretty good for a fast job. Now, tell me, is your uncle going to be away all day, huh? Don't worry, he'll be gone all afternoon. Yeah, well, where'd he go? He went to have his eyes examined. <laughs> okay, Bob, I'll only be a moment. Well, good luck, Mick. I'm, huh? over, right. I'm over oh. here. <laughs> good luck, Mick. Yeah, remember, we're doing this for Pat and Audrey. Huh? Yeah, Pat and Audrey. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh, send in your patient, please. Uh, and keep your eyes closed, Mr. Swanson. I don't want any of the strain or the uh, eye light to get into the eyes. There, that's right. We'll just take it over to the chair. And uh, if you got it, we'll try and get rid of what you got it. Now, suppose you just tell me what is it that you think that you got. Will you see Keep your eyes closed, please, Mr. Swanson. We don't want the uh, eyes strained there. That's right. Yeah, Uncle Carl, you'll be sure to tell us exactly what's wrong with his eyes. Well, I wouldn't want to make a snap uh, prediction without a hasty conclusion there. Now, uh, we'll have a little examination to find out just what it is that he has got and uh, so that we can find it. Now, if we can just... Op oh, please, just a moment. Wait a second. I fix it. We'll find out. Open the mouth, please. Oh, what a big... Mr. Mr. Swanson, where to... Oh, there it is. Oh, now tell us. Please, say ah. Say ah, please. Ah. 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 I can see it. That's it. Well, that's what is it, it Doctor? That, that's the trouble right there in the eye. You've got to have the, the teeth pulled out of there. That's it. Well, what have my teeth got to do with my eyes? What have the teeth got to do with the eyes? <laughs> You've got eye teeth, ain't you? Yeah. yeah, well, that is connected to the Adam's apple, and the Adam's apple is connected to the shin bone. And with that... Mr. Swanson, I'm afraid that you will never play the violin again. I don't play the violin. I, I play basketball. Basketball? With those eyes? <laughs> you must play by ear. Uh, what about the chart? What about you mean? What about... What, what about the chart? What about the chart? That's what... Oh, the chart. Oh, yes. Now, Mr. Swanson, comes the test of all tests. We got the eye chart for you to look at. If you will concentrate at the little figurines there on the chart, we find out what you're going to see. We call it in the ocular world, you're going to take a gander at it right now. So please, if you'll just concentrate on the... Now, Mr. Swanson, we have got a little test there on the wall for you. Now, read the chart, please. Which one do you want me to read? Which one, please? <laughs> no jokes, Mr. Swanson. Well, there are three charts on that wall. Three charts? Ugh. This is terrible. Is it that bad, Doc? Well, it's, uh, three charts is pretty serious. Two, we can cure it. Uh. I tell you, there are three charts on that wall. Well, I only see one. One? Now, now, wait, wait just a moment, please. Keep your papers closed there. Uh, you've come into the office, Mr. Swanson, with a little nervous there, thing there. Yes. That is what has come into the office. A little nervous thing which we're going to fix now with the test. I'm going to hold up a pencil. And then you're going to take a look at it. Now, Eddie, look. There's only supposed to be one. That's all I see. Well, how many pencils do you see, Mr. Swanson? Five. 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 Five pencils, you saw. Well, I hate to give it to you straight, but I got to give it that way. If you want to hear the bad news, this is what you got, Mr. Swanson. You got what we call empty out the articles with the Uts written out, got out Biden, with the Uts and the retina. In short, Mr. Swanson, you got two right eyeballs. Two right eyeballs? That's what he's got. Two right eyeballs. Is there anything you can do for me, Wait a minute. Yes, there is something. There is a cure. But unfortunately, you're going to have to make a long trip. A anything. Anything That's you say. Right. You got to go a long, long way away. In fact, Algiers is very nice this time of year, right? Algiers? I can't go to Algiers. Well, then you go to Death Valley, but you stay twice as long. And if you come back quicker than I sent you away from it, you ain't gonna get cured for what you went away for what I gave it to you. That's you right. Well, <laughs> come, That's on, right. Uh, come on, Swanson. That's right. I'll, I'll uh, get him right on. down there and get him to Death Valley. I'll take you down to the station and but get look, you to Doc. Doc, Doc I gotta play basketball in the tournament. This is the day after the basketball tomorrow. in the tournament. Yes, sir. This is not important, but the eyelids are, sir. You've got to leave town right away. That's right. Come on, Swanson boy. That's the boy. That out, boy, Swanson. That's the way. Well, uh, thank you very much, Uncle Carl. I think we solved the problem. Yes, that's all right. I'll be the Zane and Canuck verse to you, sir. <laughs>
Say, look, Doc, I meant to ask you... Yeah, uh, what did you mean, Mulligan? <laughs> My name's not Mulligan. It's mud. Buck up, pal. You can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool anybody about a good product. Brown let Michael play. I don't know, but he's making a mistake holding him back. Look at Michael sitting over there in that bench, raring to go. We're a point behind, and at the rate they're playing, we'll never catch up. Oh, I wish they'd let Michael play. I'm sure it'd be a different story. We want Mulligan. We, we want, want Mulligan. Mulligan. We want Mulligan. We want Mulligan. We want Mulligan. We I'm going down into man, Mr. Brown. Put Mickey in the game. We want Mulligan. We, we want Mulligan. We want Mulligan. <laughs> Mr. Brown. Please, Pat, not now. Come on, Devlin, wake up. Let's cover that forward. Mr. Brown, the crowd wants you to put Mickey in the game. Didn't you hear them? Yeah, I heard Mr. and Mrs. Mulligan. Why didn't you let him play? Because I want to win this game. Well, we haven't even given him a chance. What have you got against him? Look, Pat, I have nothing against Mulligan. I like him. I like my mother, too. But you don't see her out there playing basketball. <laughs> Tom? Oh, it's pretty bad. Looks like I'm washed up. It's that uh, bum ankle of his. He uh, twisted it again. That's great. That's all we needed. Uh, yeah, Mr. Brown, I'm, I'm the only one you have left, sir. Uh, yeah, I know, but I was hoping. Oh, please, sir. <laughs> all right, Mulligan, get in there and take Tom's place. Thanks, Mr. Brown. You're, you're never going to regret this. Oh, oh, Mick. Yes. Have you got those trick shoes on? Don't worry. I'm loaded. Good. <laughs> now, Michael's going in the game. Oh, oh, Joe, doesn't he look wonderful out there? Ah, uh, look at those muscles. Oh, hey! Where, where, where's my team? Mick, get, get rid of the ball, Mick! Get rid of it, Mulligan! Swanson! That's that ball, Mulligan! Come on, Michael, show them what a Mulligan can do! Michael could do that. Come on, Michael. We're a point behind and only ten seconds to go. Shoot it! Spring ball! <laughs> Mickey Rooney will be back in just a moment. And now a word from next week's sponsor. And that, friends, was the good word from the folks who will bring you our next show. By the way, friends, they're still trying to figure out whether our team won the game or not. There is no rule in the book that says you can wear trick shoes. Yet again, there, there's no rule that says you can't. So until they finally decide, I'm just a little bit of a hero. Well, good night, friends. I'm going to jump into a hot shower.